Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter V Chun Li figure, which is the second figure in the bunch after Ryu, which we know is a very nice figure. And I have to tell you, Chun Li does not disappoint either. She has a couple of tiny issues, probably even fewer issues than Ryu, and some really nice aspects. This figure is very impressive in a few ways. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just under six inches tall, probably yeah, about yeah, about five and seven eighths. She's actually got a little bit of size to her, which makes her just about 15 centimeters, right around there. So she does have a little bit of size, and if you want to uh, get technical about it, we can do that. Let's look at the back of the packaging. We do have height measurements on here. So it says that Ryu is 175 centimeters and that Chun-Li is 169. So he should be taller. Let's see if it's true. I remember Ryu being a little bit taller when I measured him. So let's see. Let's check. I know you guys like this kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do the height measurement thing and, and check. And it looks like he is just a tiny bit taller and everything lines up. So uh, there you go. She is definitely well scaled for Ryu. And then you guys saw in the Ryu review how the line scales in general across other lines. So I think that's a pretty good thing. And so let's go ahead and talk about some accessories and then we'll talk about the figure a little bit more. We have three interchangeable faces. We have the neutral face, we have the yelling face, and then we have the kind of smiling. It's a kind of a little smirking face. Now she does have kind of a cartoonish look. I'm not sure why they did that and it was obvious with Ryu also. Uh, it's not quite accurate for um, for the Street Fighter V look. They're, they're a little bit cartoonish looking, kind of in lines with the old soda line. Uh, which is interesting, but uh, it, it does look like Chun-Li, so I can't complain, and the paint job is done very nicely. She has a bunch of different hands. We have the two fist hands, which come on here in the package. Two uh, kind of like, uh, they're not karate chop hands, but I guess they could be. Then we have two slightly bent finger style pose hands, and then two wide open palm style pose hands. We do have her flash kick, or not flash kick, wow. Her lightning kick, or whatever you want to call it, kick, wow, I'm just going to give up on that one. And it looks really nice. I love the yellow plastic they used. It's nice and translucent, and it actually looks really good. And it's technically not even yellow plastic. It's clear, but it's painted yellow and looks great. And then it fades off to white. And so that looks really good and has the clear stand to hold it up. And then she has the background cards, which you put together to make the background. And it's very, very nicely detailed, very printed, very nicely printed. Great saturation, great, great quality overall. Well, let's see if I can get some words out today without screwing them all up. So let's talk about the figure now. I mentioned she does have a few issues, and it's true, but she does have some really great things, and she may even technically be better than Ryu. I have to say, uh, I don't want to say it, but I have to say it. First thing I notice is her blue part of her outfit is kind of shiny, which gives it that it's supposed to look like silk, I'm guessing. It's supposed to look kind of fancy, so it does. Uh, the metallic paint for the gold looks really good. And then we move down to her legs, which are really nice and painted with a flat color. So it, it just adds a really nice appeal to the figure. That that juxtaposition of the two different finishes looks great. I love it. And then the shading on the legs also looks great. There's shading on the boots, which looks great. Definitely could use a little bit more paint on the boots. We don't have any of the uh, little eyelets or whatever those things are called painted. I'm guessing they're supposed to be, but maybe not. I didn't, like I said before, I haven't played the game since I don't have a PlayStation. And then the rest of the paint is just very clean, so I'm very, very happy about that. The sculpt is good, can't really complain about that. There's no issues in terms of the, like for Ryu, we had part of it sculpted and part of it wasn't, but uh, for this one, it looks really good. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation. Her little hair pieces can rotate around, so that'll help for whatever poses you want to do. You have some options there. The neck itself is on a double ball peg, just like Ryu, so you can move the head around pretty well. It has a little bit less range just due to how it's sculpted, but it still moves around very nicely. And then the neck is also... I thought the neck was on a ball peg. Yeah, there it goes. It just it moves a lot better forward and back than side to side, but that's okay. It works fine. For the shoulders, it's similar to reusing that we have a butterfly joint, uh, but I'm not entirely sure if it is a butterfly. It seems to be connected on a hinge. You can see how it's moving a little bit, but you can also just kind of pull it straight out to give yourself better range. I think that only works because it is a butterfly, but it's a ball peg connected to it. So as you pull the butterfly out in an angle, the ball peg just kind of pivots. But either way, you do get really good range out of the shoulder. And then that ball peg does move around very nicely. And then you also have a hinge. It doesn't go quite out to the side properly. 
just because of these poofy shoulders. There's not much you can do about that. And then even bringing it around to the front, you are going to be limited, obviously. There's just nothing you can do. So that's I think that's okay. We'll chalk that up to that's how it's supposed to be, so they had to make it that way. You do have a bicep swivel where the arm meets the cloth, so that's good. And then, of course, you can rotate at the joint itself, but you don't need to. And it's a really nice single joint, really good range, so I like that a whole bunch. Her spike things can rotate. I haven't tried to actually remove them, but I'm sure they can come off if you want them to, though I don't know why you would. And then her wrists are on ball hinges. They are tiny ball hinges, so be careful. You do not want to break that. It will, um, it will ruin your figure if you break that. But let's see how they work. Yeah, the hands aren't very, very stiff on there, so that's okay. You shouldn't have too much trouble. That'll be all right. So good range there. Then you have, I think it's just a single ball peg going into the upper torso. It's split above the white, where the white meets the blue. So she can move around on that a little bit. It'll rotate around just fine and lean in a little bit in any direction you want. You do have to be careful, though, because the white paint on here is not the kind of paint that stretches well. And there's already actually a couple of little crack marks in there from it moving around. So if you kind of crunch this too much or pull it back too much, you're going to see some issues with that. So be very, very careful. This is soft plastic and the, and the blue is how it's molded and the gold doesn't really flake or anything, but you can have issues with the white, so be careful. Good news is you can move around the entire upper body where you don't have to worry about it flaking very well on a single ball peg that goes up from the crotch right into the torso. So that's really nice. You can move it around very well. And here's the other thing that this figure does exceptionally well. I'm so impressed by this. You can bring her legs out almost completely to the side. She can do her poses no problem at all, and it's really not that ugly. This part that comes up to hide the joint, it doesn't do a perfect job, but it does a nice enough job where if you're not looking directly like this, which you shouldn't be anyway, you pervert, it'll be just fine. You can pose her doing any kind of kick you want, and it's going to look great, so that's awesome. And you do have your thigh swivel built in. It doesn't have the best range in the world, but it is there. And then you can bring the legs forward. Not quite perfectly horizontal, let's just stand her up normally. So they don't go quite out forward as much as you would like, but it's definitely good enough. And even then, the sculpt is still pretty good, so I'm very, very happy with how they did that. Now her knees are much like Ryu's in that they didn't do a great job with them, but she gets slightly better range and they don't look quite as bad because they're not as bulky, so I think it's okay. Definitely not great, but it'll do. And then for the ankles, we have the hinge that goes all the way back, which is fine all the way forward, which isn't that far, but probably far enough. We have a toe hinge, which works nicely, and then we have an ankle rocker. But you're going to have to be careful about it because it wants to bump into the other part of the boot, so you don't have the best range out of that unless you kind of tuck it in. So if you want to tuck it in, you'll be okay, and it'll be just fine. So yeah, it's a really, really solid figure. Her issues are far smaller than Ryu's and out of necessity, I think, like for the shoulders, for instance. So I'm very, very happy with it. I think she's great. I think Ryu's great. I think this line is great, and I'm so happy about that. And I think you guys are probably going to feel the same way once you get some. So head on over to the Big Bad Toy Store. There's a link in the description. Get yours on pre-order before they come out because I have a feeling they're going to sell out fast. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.